We're gonna hit it. Oh, I said Square Enix. Can't believe someone would have graffiti that onto this perfectly <laughs> good statue. Yeah, he just defaced <laughs> this this bearded man. Hey, it's a me. Whoa, is that dancer class? <laughs> <laughs> it could be anything. Sorry, I wanted you guys to get the real e the real launch experience. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, what? A monk. That's not even how dancers fight. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> we, we throw chakrams around. It's changed a little bit. Has it? Did they patch it? We gonna go monster hunting? <clears throat> How did you get up there? Hang on a minute. Shockwaves are intense. It's part of their training. Don't think about it. Kiss. really committed to this font that I cannot read. Yeah. There User is a take on the bonga to the planet core. <laughs> <laughs> now go. Damn. <laughs> oh, they finally poured the Yakuza game. Oren? Guy from Final Fantasy X. Remember yeah, him? he looks. He, oh, nope. He's young. He's baby Orin. He looks so much like Orin. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. He has the same style too. The uh, overly long sleeve on one arm. Yeah, but he's not constantly cradling his other arm in it. Yeah. Because Orin didn't. Even, Orin's arm wasn't even in his sleeve. It was folded in his, his vest. When I was 10, that was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen was that character. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's still the coolest thing you've ever seen. Yeah. Wow. That's a cool looking city. And obviously I liked Kamari. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to recreate him basically. I know those characters. Man, I can't wait to see these people interact with uh, our weird <laughs> Oh, group. new start screen's on fire. I wish you could make the, I wish I could make the start screen stay on the current expansion I'm on instead of the real current one. That would be nice. It resets every time, <laughs> and it's like, but I want to get used to them all for a while, get some get some time out of them. Yeah, Orin was one of the first times I saw a gourd until Brad Wong. <laughs> a gourd. He had, the, he, had a drink, he had a drinking gourd, yeah. which I wouldn't see again until yeah, Brad this. Wong and Dead or Alive three or four. Yeah. And that was a whole style for him. The um, we're gonna go to Nippon. Mm -hmm. Andrew will know how to pronounce all of the things, as opposed to uh, none of us know how to pronounce them because they're French. <laughs> <laughs> now Andrew can correct all of us. 
the I'll, language I'll, I at I'll least try to, I'll try to pick up when we, get, when we get to Germany. I, th I think I think the current expansion is Germany. Is it? I think so. I think that's what... Because isn't the, isn't the current expansion in the evil empire? And aren't they basically just Germans? The Carlian Empire? Yeah. I thought, I thought they're. I thought they use German words and stuff. Yeah, they they do. Yeah. Everybody ready? Yeah. Um. Ah, so. Yep, I'm ready. No, those were numbers. <laughs> there was a lot of digits on that number. The question is, how will the Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Oh, I didn't see you there. Forgive how? me. Word from Baelsar's wall is proving long in the coming, and my mind cannot help but stray to grim places. Alphano, a message from the Alliance. It's about time. Pray summon the others at once. Yes, sir. General Aldin reports that his forces have secured the breach in Baelsar's wall. And what of the Primal and Omega? There is still no sign of either at this time. He writes that they will begin a more thorough investigation shortly. And, as expected, he wishes to petition the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. As expected. The Alliance's decision to capture a part of Baelsar's wall is open to interpretation. The wall serves to demarcate Imperial territory, Alamigo included, from the rest of Eorzea. To an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. Indeed. And the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. You're saying they won't fight for Alamigo? Even after everything that's happened? Not without the consent of her people, no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation of the Alamegan opposition. They would have us act as intermediaries. Precisely. The Scions are uniquely qualified to serve in this capacity. That is to say, leases, given her personal connection to the Resistance. Who better than you to broker an agreement between the Alliance and the people of Alamigo? Assuming you are willing, of course. Of course I am! You know I'd like nothing more! As for who should accompany you on said diplomatic mission, I had a mind to volunteer myself. Well, that covers the talking part. But you just know there'll be trouble along the way. Are you available? Questions? <clears throat> As if you'd have to ask. I want to go to Weebland. Thanks. It means a lot knowing you'll be there. I too shall accompany you. Such endeavors are seldom hampered by a surfeit of healers. Good point. Allow me to offer my services as well. I have spent quite enough time here of late, so I'll be coming. But we will need someone to keep an eye on things. I trust you have no objections? None, my lady. Gladly shall I continue to serve as caretaker of the Waking Sands, and there keep watch for signs of primal and Asian activity both. As capable as my learned friend undoubtedly is, there are some troubles that may prove too much for a single scion, on account of which I mean to stay. It is settled then. 
Let us each see to our preparations. I almost forgot about the very concept of voice acting. Are you guys already in the new one? Yep. Uh, not oh, yet. It's voice too. And cool. We are not synced up. No, we're not. Oh well. Ready, my friend? Well then, Tataru, I leave the rising stones in your capable hands. Don't worry, Alphano. I'll see that the place is still standing when you come back. Mistress Yishtola has unfolded all. You are bound for Girabanya? Aye. The Alliance would have us make contact with the Alamegan Resistance as soon as possible. It begins then. As soon it shall in Doma, if the gods are good. It is but a pity it must be now. I am sorry that we shall not be present to fight beside you in the battles to come. You have stood with us countless times, Lady Yugiri. Pray do not apologize. Then let us thank you instead. You and yours stood with us from the first, when we came to this land as refugees in search of sanctuary. Loath am I to think what might have become of my people, had you not extended to us the hand of friendship. We will never forget. This I solemnly swear. Much has changed since first you set foot on these shores. Revenant's toll stands as a testament to that. I'm sure your people will manage in your absence. Indeed. They have built a new home for themselves and no longer need me to shepherd them. The time has come for Kosetsu and I to return to our master. To our home. I know how you feel. It's time I went home too. Though our battlefields be a thousand mounds apart, our purpose is one. That all men hearken to the clarion call of freedom, of liberation, from Eorzea to the Far East, that they may rise up and cast down the curse of Garlemald. Take care, you hear me? When all of this is over, we're going to celebrate, together. Just you wait. I should like that very much. Fare you well. Surprise. No voice acting. Mm-hmm. I'm here. Cool. All A thousand set. moms apart, yet united in purpose. Let us pray both our endeavors meet with success. Shall we then? Wait, wait, not just yet. I knew I'd forgotten something else important. Lise, could you come with me? Me? What, now? Um, all right then, if you insist. Oh no, I'm all of these people.
All of Effie's characters die. <laughs> I do play the villain quite often. <clears throat> Her transformation into Riku is complete. Okay, that's a bit much. Those animations were way too fast. That's, the, leg, um, the leg armor continues to be strange. Not only that, but also very out of place with that outfit. Yeah, it's the same leg armor from before, which didn't make sense before either. Nope. <laughs> what do you think? As you can see, I designed it to be light and loose, an outfit tailor-made to, to, uh, to the needs of a skilled fighter like Lise. Light and loose? Yeah, I, I'm you sorry. Know, plate armor Since on when your legs, you, yeah, which you like kick with. Greaves. Yeah. When is that <laughs> light? It's Final Fantasy or armor. If there's, sk there's skin out, that means it's loose. It's basically yeah. cloth. Your work never ceases to impress. Much more of this. And I may have to stop introducing you to, as the Scion's receptionist and start referring to you as our preeminent seamstress. It does seem like a higher skill. It's lovely, Tataru. Thank you. I feel like I could take on a legion. I will say I'm that glad you like nice it. And with that, I'll delay no you no longer. Safe travels. <clears throat> then onward to Gir, to Gir Abania. Our first stop would be Amir, Amir, Amir Sykes' uh, spire in the East Shroud. The Amir Sy? Fuck, I'm all of those characters. I'm all of those characters. I'm every character on the screen. There's like seven people. What the fuck? How did this happen? Wait a minute. Unfortunate. <laughs> all of your characters died. <laughs> I'm fine with this. What the fuck? I just saw the light of it. I'm like, wait a minute. What happened to these people not being together? Hey, you know what? At the very least, you can't say I planned it, because I didn't. None of us has planned. <clears throat> Fuck. It's so hard to try to differentiate, like, five female voices when they're in the same conversation. <laughs> their, voices or their voices already change based on who they're talking to, so I can make them not sound identical. <laughs> Please split up. <laughs> All are present and accounted for. When you are ready, my friend, pray inform the officer that we wish to proceed to Garabanya. Okay. Well, I'm the officer. Oh, the scions of the seventh dawn. We were told to expect you. Shall I summon someone to escort you to the wall? Yes. Castramorians, go to Garabanya! A place where you can fly it! Hooray! You think she's offended that we're the only people that don't wear her clothes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone else, she just dressed the entire science, and I'm like, I'll have a tank top and jeans. <laughs> I threw your outfit in the garbage. I don't even remember which one it was. <laughs> wow. I don't remember what it looked like. I don't. Was it like a, didn't it look like a, like a school uniform or something? I, yep. Maybe? Maybe. Probably. It did. I can't even kind of recall it. I remember crossing the border, standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow scions, the warrior of light among us. Behind us, Baelsar's wall cutting the land in two. Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. The Magitek. Tyranny and the promise of a new beginning. But one that could only be bought with flames and blood. Well, that mountain got fucked. Yeah. That got deleted by something. <laughs> That's a we'll that's a very Dragon Ball Z like Kamehameha looking mountain. Just a bit, yeah. And into Stormblood. We're here. Let's grab the Aether Rider. We le <laughs> or if we leave, we can't come back. <laughs> what if that happened? Did you say there's eventually a tank back. top that doesn't have the tattoo? Uh. 
So there is, but it has a bunch of bags and things hanging off of the side of it. Oh, a craftsman one. Yeah. Hey, do you like when I stand on your table? Fuck, I'm you too. All right. Are you sure you're Robon? I don't think I don't you're Robon. You'd be Robon. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was anyways, so. <laughs> Reading Wait. Scions. On behalf of the Eorzean Alliance, I welcome you to Castramorians. Thank you, General. We were relieved to hear that your forces secured the wall without incident. Have the Imperials made any attempt to retake the Castrum since then? None. Save for a few skirmishes between, uh, between our scouts and their patrols, we've had barely any contact with them. But we all know it's only a matter of time before things escalate. As if attacking Balesar's wall weren't enough, Ilbert summoned a primal right on their doorstep, and Garlemald is not like to let such shows of defiance go unanswered. It was a declaration of war, even if it was not Ilbert's to make. And now we are bound by it, for weal or for woe. The Scions stand ready to serve, General. What would you ask of us? As stated in my message, the Alliance will not proceed without the support and cooperation of the Alamegan people. We would have you serve as our emissaries and make contact with the Resistance. Consider it done, General. We won't let you down, I swear. Then I'll leave you to it. Godspeed. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Andrew. Sorry, and I was muted. Ha! Huh. Of all the Castra in all the world, you walk into mine. Master Garland, what brings you here? Plot. <laughs> a certain missing elegant weapon in dr uh, Draconic Primal. Omega and Shinru. I think the Shinobi called it. Anyway, we've been studying her tr uh, their trail of destruction, hoping it might lead us somewhere, which it has singularly failed to do. Then tis like Omega it fall it fell into the earth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then tis like Omega fell to earth in occupied territory, meaning it may already be in Imperial hands. Even so, it bears repeating that we engaged the states and systems. Assuming the comms we received and executed successfully, the weapon will be of no use to them. Assuming. We should hurry up and find it regardless. Goodbye, Sid. Bye. All the more reason to reach out to the Resistance. If we want to press it on into Girabanya, we'll need their blessing. Everyone's counting on us. Let's not waste any more time talking. Okay. Five of us never said a word. It's got a new victory sound. Now we talk to Lice. It's more chanty. Sorry I launched a wolf in your face. <laughs> As you've probably heard, there are plenty of factions in the Resistance. So I'm taking us oh, I'm taking us to see one of the mo uh, with the most influence. Their headquarters are located in a place called Raugr's Breach, an old temple to the east of here, across uh, the Velodyna River. I learned a route that should allow us to avoid Imperial patrols. Stick with me and we'll be able to, to we'll be there before you know it. Everything sounds different. Oh god, I can fly. Okay, things or are, you could, you know, not hop on the thing that can fly. And then these are actually things are actually near my level here. What are we gonna do? Oh fuck. Uh, he sees me. Scatter. You know, I still got I got here faster than you're flying. Or is your flying slow? Because I stopped. Oh, I was like, is your flying <laughs> slow? No. You gotta get them speed ups or something? Still with me? Good. From here, we'll head northeast and toward the river. The water's not too deep, so we won't have to swim. Our world's on fire. How about yours? <laughs> yeah. Bleh. Bleh. No, I'm selecting other people. Yeah. How do I do it again? I forgot. There we go. Right, uh, right click, right pillin. Well, I'm with a controller. He's using a controller. 
Oh, I should just. Oh yeah, it's, I should just use the. De I should use the part the party controls instead of the targeting controls. That's the smarter way to do it. You have trouble there? He's just doing no. a little spin. Boop. Oh, those are some big old gators. I'm gonna spot a gator from 20 yards. I don't see any soldiers. Good, let's cross. You're wondering about the tower to the south. Not really. But I suspect you're gonna tell us anyway. You're wondering about the plot. <laughs> With the boppet on it. <laughs> it's part of Castellum Velodina. That's what the Imperials decided to call the old bridge after they fortified it. I call it a great big eyesore. Honestly, you can see the rotten banner from absolutely moms away. <sighs> they never miss a chance to rub our noses in it, do they? Come on, we should keep moving. Blip. My chair doesn't fly anymore. <laughs> I guess way better controls. Pressing down on the D-pad to select via the party menu. That's how you do it. Yeah, because otherwise this would take forever. Just walking it. Look at, their, and look at his shitty little button. wings. <laughs> Look at their useless wings! It's like a horribly stretched out bald eagle. It's a nightmare. We are here. Oh. We're here. On the other side of this pass is Valgar's Reach. So you say, but all I see are rocks. I presume there is some sort of trick to this. Indeed, a glamour. Good eye, Ishtola. I take it they have a talented mage in their ranks, or mayhap an artificer trained in the modification of glamour prisms. Something like that. The important thing is it fools the Garleans. Oh, before we go in, I don't know if Tatru told you, but my friend Naago, the messenger who came to the Rising Stones, is a member of this faction. So they know us, and they shouldn't attack us on sight. That said, they can be a bit jumpy, so let me lead the way, and um, don't go reaching for your weapons or anything. But my weapons are attached to me at all times. Get on my fists. <laughs> Interesting noises. And with a sprinkle of demasking dust, all is laid bare. Like from the Manderville quest. That stuff's supposed to be really expensive and rare. Do, 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 do. Guess we'll walk over here. Boop. Into Ralgar's Reach. I remember the old stories, how the Breaker of Worlds came down from on high and cleft the earth with a single blow. Ralga's Reach, a holy place and a fitting home for the resistance, for the brave and the true, the loyal sons and daughters of Alamigo. They were waiting for us there. Men and women whose souls still cried out for what was lost. For what could be ours again.
One, two, three, not it. <laughs> not it. Sure, why not? Let me just look at this guy here. Scruffy Size him up. man. <laughs> All right. You'll forgive us for our uh, precautions, but we could not be sure who had crossed the barrier. We see you now for who you are, though, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. All right, thanks for the money. Now, I know you would not have come all this way unless you had something important to discuss. And I'm eager to hear what it is you have to say. But let's not do this on our doorstep, eh? Watch out! Come right behind me. you! In <laughs> <laughs> the car. <laughs> it looked like he was about to get killed in the middle of the cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> Take him the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Come, let's not do this on my- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the music was definitely uh, the best part of Final Fantasy XV. Where are you going? Uh -oh. I don't know. Oh, I'm she's just, just being driven around. She's just taking a long way. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> it's the, the scenic cinematic group. group. Or scenic group, yeah. yeah. Going in what I can do that in a car, basically. Though so actually, we probably should have ran around and got all the. Uh, oh, uh, the markers. Yeah, the markers. Hello, I'm on your table. Ho <clears throat> ho ho! Allow me to welcome you once more to Raga's Reach, our humble headquarters. My name is Conrad Kemp, and I have the dubious honor of overseeing operations here. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Kemp. I am Alfino Leveilleur of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, as are my comrades. Before I speak of our purpose here, pray allow me to thank you for sheltering Ida, forgive me, Lise, and Papalimo at great risk to yourselves. No, no, there's no need for that. They risked their necks for us enough times. It was the least we could do. I, I wanted to, um, I mean, about the mask and... Ah, oh, don't fret over that. You're not the first person to take up arms against the Empire under a false name. We'd do the same if we had any sense. My condolences for your loss, child. Papalimo laid down his life to save us, to give us a chance to make a better future for ourselves. There will never be a better time to drive the Garleans from our lands, but we have to take the lead on this. We can't leave it to fanatics like Ilbert. More than a few of our people were taken in by his promises, followed him all the way to the wall. Good men and women who never came back. When Monago told us what had happened, how the bastard had made sacrifices of them for his twisted ritual, by Rolger it filled me with an unholy fury. But what's done is done. Best we can do now is see that it wasn't all in vain. That is why we are here today, sir, to see that some good comes of this tragedy. On behalf of the Aeorsian Alliance, we do hereby extend a formal offer of military assistance to the Alamegan resistance. Do you now? Well, go on then. I'm sure there's more to it than that. So that's the way of it, eh? The Alliance, hoping to avoid a direct confrontation with the superior forces of the Empire, wishes to engage them by proxy with our vastly inferior ones. My comrades and I must confer on your proposal. A moment, if you please. Of course, Master Kemp. Take all the time you require.
Everybody in the new cutscene? No. no. It's best to watch the party names, and you can watch for when Andrew finishes it. Uh, yeah. I think he uses auto proceed, and it's slower. I don't want to click everything. It's fucking takes yeah, too long. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm saying I think that's why you're consistently slower is I think it's a different pace. Yeah. Yeah, it pauses a little longer. So it was seen we'd find ourselves with a survey of free time. Ah, uh, forgive me. You are free to look around Ralga's reach. In fact, I would encourage you to do so. I'll give you a better grasp of our current circumstances. Whore is the word I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> Thank you, Master Kemp. I believe we will do just that. Let us make the most of this opportunity and assess the Resistance's capabilities. Free to poke our noses wherever we so we, uh, wheresoever we like, eh? I like the sound of that. Well, I already I already know this place inside and out. I can show you around if you like, Zev. Hero, fuck. <laughs> Great. Let's get started. Oh boy, we get to tour the new hub area. Yep. Have we ever seen Alphino's hood on him? Ye no. Because it looks like it's armored in the front in a very anime way, where it'd be, he'd have like a visor over his face if he closed his hood. But I don't think I've ever actually seen what it looks like. I'll bet you think the Resistance is mostly made up of Alamegan Highlanders like me. Is that what you are? I don't know the, I don't know what, it, what the I... human variations are. I thought she was the... a Midlander. But the truth is that we don't even account for half. We've got Hell's Guard from all the way over by the spine in here, and plenty of secrets from the, of the sun like Nago. There's even some beast men, well, beast women, I suppose, like that one over there. She's an, an, an Ananta, and she's been with us for a while now. Oh yeah, Andrew gets the snake ladies now. Well, one of the smaller factions has. The rest won't have anything to do with us. We're no different from the Garleans to them. Do I smell another daily quest faction? Yes, you do. They keep to themselves, spending all their time crafting. Ananta makes the most amazing jewelry, by the way. They use magics to twist metals and crystals into shapes you wouldn't believe. It's a pity people hardly ever get to see their work. But then most don't even know that they exist. That's enough about them, anyway. Let's take a closer look at the statue of Ralgar, shall we? Oop, there's a. I let's guess grab this. we shall. Let's grab this. It's right here. <clears throat> Is there a second seat on motorcycles? There's not. not. Oops. <clears throat> Disappointed pose. Wait, why is this? My regular dance is highlighted like I can do it, <laughs> and the other ones aren't. Yeah, I can't press the other ones, but I can press my normal dance, so I can just dance happily back here, apparently. <laughs> Doesn't do anything, but does spam chat, so that's fun. Where Where is anyone going right now? Wait, I'm confused. Uh, oh, it's in the center. Whoops. Yeah. get a tuned. You have now authored the uh, yep, that's all of them. I have now sat in every seat. This is the one where I sprawl the most. <laughs> this way. I know we already got all the things. I don't know if they Did can you tell that though. So attuned to the you tuned to the main one already, right? Uh, we got a wave. We got a pop up saying we have all of them now, so I think we're already tuned to this one. Oh, I'm attuning to it. Fuck if I know. Yeah, I guess you didn't. Yeah, I don't think we ever came here, but it gave me a pop up. I think that said we <laughs> we had them all. 
It's I a think. good thing Pocky here is paying more it. attention than you guys are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got a pop up saying that we got them all. I don't know. Usually a bunch of yeah, text we got a pop up yeah, saying that we got all of shards, the uh, locals. Yes, but yeah, yeah, the shards. Weird. It's yeah. That is a very noticeable purple. Pretty awe-inspiring, isn't it? The Breaker of Worlds, who guided our ancestors to these lands all those centuries ago. Ida used to tell me the story of uh, on stormy nights. She wanted me to understand, to remember. At the end of the fifth astral era, when the waters rose higher and higher, people all across Eorzea beseeched the heavens for a sign. And lo, a burning star appeared in the eastern sky and led the way to these mountains of Girabinia. Those who, who were saved by his grace pledged to honor and revere him, to devote themselves to his great works without or with, and within. A storm of blood approaches fast, hells open, heavens weep, for no one's soul doth lie beyond the measure of his reach. The last part was inscribed on this stone by a monk of the Fist of Ralgar. Ida explained it to me. A day will come bringing strife and sorrow that none may escape. Waste not these precious hours, but in quiet preparation make the strong, make strong the body and mind. I don't know if that storm of blood is finally upon us, but if it is, I have to believe that everything we've been through, everything that has led us to this point, will see us through in the end. Ah, sorry. Uh, that was a little bit melodramatic, wasn't it? Let's keep moving, shall we? Off to the infirmary. Wait, so are the three thematically tied classes of this game monk, samurai, and dancer? Yes. The yeah. exact classes that I've played so far. Yeah, you've only played That's... classes from this expansion. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. They're all from different expansions, though, aren't they? They're like, I setting wise, Pugilus they're from was this... originally available. Yeah, uh, I think... Pugilus was original, and then it, uh, yeah, then Monk was added <laughs> later. Um, was it added later, or was it just what you got later when you leveled up? Because it's from the original levels. Is it? Cause I, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I think Monk. I, th I feel like Monk was a vanilla class. Let us it know, everyone been. that knows ever more than us all the time. <laughs> this is the infirmary. As you can probably tell, here's where the resistance healers patch up the wounded and tend to the sick. No matter how carefully we plan our operations, casualties were inevitable. It's a sad thing to think about, but it's also important to remember the cost, as Conrad would say. We should go. I sh I'll show you the Aetherite Plaza next. You mean the place that we've already been to? Yes. You should be able to ride a second person on a motorcycle. You'd think that, you could. That's just logic. <clears throat> yep, Monk was base, Samurai was this expansion, and Dancer, yeah. and Dancer was Shadowbringer. There's trickiness where classes don't come out in the expansion that they're thematically look like they'd be from, basically. They, they like, plant the seeds in advance in many cases. Mm. I mean, Gunbreaker, for example, came out in Shadowbringers, but... I don't know what that means. Yep. yep. When you've yep. seen one Aetherite, you've seen them all, right? Not quite. This one's an older design, dates back decades to when the Fist of Ralgar was still here. It may look a bit different, but it works just as well as any other. I'll show you where the, sol the soldiers are next, but don't forget to attune to the Aetherite before we go. <laughs> waka waka. Even the game's like, do the thing. Do the, do the thing. thing, do the thing, do the thing, do the do thing. Do oh. the thing. There was not a closer one. But the, um, <laughs> look at it, look at Andrew, it's leaning up on the seat. <laughs> It's a very different pose. Yeah. Oh, and I'm, I've got my uh, my first two fingers out. I'm doing a very specific gesture right now. Boop. 
There's all these touches. Arms, armor, potions, you name it. These folks got it. The resistance would be in a bad way without brave merchants to keep it provisioned. If you're short on anything, or you need something repaired, these are the people to speak to. Oh, Alphano and Alisay are here. Why don't you, you see how they're getting on? They're standing right next to you. And Why are you talking I wear as if they're any like of these? They're all feet. helmets, so I can go fuck myself. Yeah, they all suck. Okay. Materia can be sold on the, on the market. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come to take the measure of our friendly neighborhood merchants. They're a bit bold. That much is plain. If the Imperials found out they were peddling their wares to the Resistance, they would be uh, lucky to escape with their lives. Is a gamble, aye, and I admire their cur but I and I admire their courage, but their motives could hardly be said to be altruistic. Uh, who is this? Oh, that you want to do this, Epi? Miko, who I thought this was you, wasn't it? Nope, no. This is one of the new characters. No one's voiced these characters yet. I'm uh, not gonna be no, dark she's skin guy. she's. Uh, you were the ones who. Uh, she's Lisa's who friend. Delivered, yeah, she delivered the message for us. I think we the met her in the, the uh, same storyline that had the masked man. Yeah. All right. Ah, here you are. Been looking all over for you. We finished discussing your proposal, and we're ready to receive you all back at the tent. I've sent someone to fetch Estola and Creel, so if you'd like to follow me. Yeah, sure. Like to is kind of a strong word. Yeah. Have to is probably a better phrase. Thank you all for waiting. We have reached a consensus. I, Conrad Kemp, do hereby accept the Aeorsian Alliance's proposal. You must understand, however, that our cooperation comes with certain caveats. Those caveats being... I take no joy in this, just so you know. Were it within my power, I'd offer you more assistance, but the resistance is far more fragmented than you realize. The men and women in my care belong to but one of many factions. Simply put, I can only speak for the people of Rogger's Reach. Now, I have every intention of appealing to the others, and I expect many will agree, but it will take time. I cannot guarantee universal support. Understood. I shall see that the Alliance is under no misapprehensions as to your position. Much obliged. But that's not the whole of it. As you can imagine, the loss of those who cast their lot with the Griffin left us short on numbers. Some of our most trusted veterans died at the wall. And we've had to fill their posts with the young and inexperienced. Frankly, everything's in a right bloody mess. Oh, we'd be more than happy to help you get back on your feet. If we're going to work together, we'll be doing ourselves a favor. Well, there's no shortage of work to be done, that's for sure. We're in dire need of new blood, too. Ishtola and I could lend a hand in the infirmary. From what I saw, they could do with a few more healers. Very well. I, for my part, shall return to the Rising Stones. I'm certain there are others among the Scions who would welcome the opportunity to fight for Alamegan liberation. Um, is there anything else we can do to help? I had something else in mind for you, Lot. Monago and Mefrid will tell you more. Understood. We won't let you down.
naturally, we talked to Alice. Okay. <clears throat> right then, Minago and Mefred are, are to be our, our keepers. Knowing not of what they require, one task is as good as the other. Make your choice, hero. There's a bandana I can't wear. And a, 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 oh, mask. Red mask. Which mask do I like more? I can't technically wear them, so that probably means I probably can't glamour them. Oh, well. Uh, what ifs? Your aether compass may now be used to locate aether currents. <laughs> oh god, here we go again. Mm hmm. Oh, we get to we have to, okay. we have to very we carefully have to pick, pick because uh, Raffi can't do both. Do we go Mefried or Monago? Which character would you prefer to voice next, Andrew? <laughs> I guess I'll do Monago. Before we begin, I'd like to thank you and the Scions again for patching me up after I bled all over your floor. I owe you my life, and I won't forget that. Furthermore, it was rude of me to run off without saying a word. It's all well and good me claiming my duties here couldn't wait, but a parting thank you was the very least you deserve. My apologies. And thank you. Now to business. Commander Kemp's entrusted me with a formal reply to, the, to be hand-delivered to the Alliance leadership. It covers everything we discussed, as well as detailing the disposition of our forces. What I need is an escort, one or two men at most, so we can make it to the wall swiftly and without attracting undue attention. Why did it have to be an escort mission? Damn it. Very well, I shall join you in this. General Alden commands the forces of the Castamorians. It should be simple enough to see it into his hands. She's clipping so much. Yep. Great. That's just what I wanted to hear. When you're ready to depart, meet me at the pass leading out of the reach. But don't grab the other one or else. <laughs> we will all die. The end. Blip. All right. Uh, yep. I've summoned the aquatic boss in the aquatic mounts in the desert. You're welcome. <laughs> He'll survive. Bulgul Ironheart. Got everything you need? Good. Then let us be off. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> yeah, do we go? Yeah. Are we able to fly here? Not here specifically, but we're Ow. about to be... <laughs> okay. Heading up to the next area. I made mistakes. And so we go. Goodbye, golems, another bullshit. Hey, it's an aether current. Land now! Oh. Where is it? Also, oh, also right, objective right, right here. here. Let me down. Here we go. What was? I keep almost thinking a thought and then losing it again when it's time to actually speak again. God damn it! Sounds like Alzheimer's. <laughs> have you gone to the doctor and checked if you have Alzheimer's? I am. Um, I think there's other clues. 
Oh, are there? I forgot. Yeah. Quiet. You hear that? It was a Cerulean engine backfiring. Imperials. All right, thanks, hey, gods. You have supernatural senses. I didn't hear a thing. I don't know why it's... that went there. When you grow up her, uh, hunting in these lands, you learn to discern the sounds that could mean life or death, be they a predator or a patrol. From what I he I'm hearing, we have a seven-man patrol uh, aug uh, augment with a single Magitech armor. Wide search pattern, divided into two. No, three teams. I don't think they know we're here. It's risky, but we should split up and try to take them all by surprise at the same time. We don't want them calling reinforcements. Three teams, three of us. Nothing for it then. Where are they? Head north. You should see them long before they see you. I'll deal with the ones to the south. The armor should be just to the west. Hero's best equipped to deal with that. We attack in five. That should be enough time to get into the position. Rendezvous on the west bank after. Any questions? No? Then good luck. Good luck. It's right here. Murder. Oh, that's a bird. Uh, no, that's a lesser gang gang. Gang gang. Oh, yeah, I was. I kept trying to say that I, uh. Now that she described who she is, I recognize who she is. Before that, I didn't realize who she was. Are there enough dancers yet? God, I hope enemies don't appear. Oh god! Oh no, enemies appeared. Dango. The uh, I misinterpreted who she was. I thought she was the friend that that uh, Lise lied to because she was pretending to be Ida, but it was the person mm. who collapsed bleeding in our HQ. Whoops. I didn't really realize that till it took the moment to explain the memorable scene, which is a good thing to do hours later. Or in or in real time's case, months later. Mm. It looks like everything went to plan. Not that I'm surprised. The three soldiers I faced didn't put up much of a fight. Most of the Imperials we get out here are conscripts from other provinces with little training and even less conviction. It's grim work killing men and women like that, but don't doubt that they do the same to you if the roles are reversed. And hey, don't you dare pity a man in armor. Conscript or no, a soldier plotting one of those can, uh, piloting one of those can kill a dozen good men in the blink of an eye. Not that I need to tell you that after what happened at the wall. Yeah, you can justify murder if you want, but I mean. That's a big fine. shouldered armor. And then it's another, oh, and then another colors. Do it, get it. There we go, I can wear that robe. Oh, fan dance three. Right, I believe we've rested long enough. We should resume our journey before someone notices they're missing patrol. Bye. Oi. What's that chess piece looking like? Ah, oh, fuck, I'll never find it. <laughs> I'll never find it. I found it. I, I don't know where it is. Shit, it's too hard to look through that menu. Chess piece, wasn't it? Oh, this is the adventurer's jacket. Where is it? I'll never find it. <laughs> no idea where it is. Oops. We're clear. Only Alliance patrols ahead. You say the you said the forces that cast from Orions were under the command of Flame General Rabon Al Aladin, did you not? By Ralgar, the bull of Alamigo himself. I never dreamed I'd have a chance to meet the legend. He's already taken. Sorry. Mm hmm. By duty. Exactly. Honor. Commitment. Maybe a little fear. Are we going somewhere? Are we... I mean, yeah. Oh, it's a, I can't use this as class. That's why I couldn't find it. 
I can what it's it's white text meaning I have the class but not this one I do not fit in this seat I look so awkward Little guy's back. It is good to see you again, my friends. I hope you are here to tell me you have made contact with the Resistance. We are, General. Allow me to introduce Monago of Rolga's Reach. At your service, sir. And may I say what an absolute honor it is to stand before the Bull of Alamigo. These are not the Blood Sands, girl. You and I are but soldiers on a battlefield fighting for the same cause. Uh, as you say, General. <clears throat> on behalf of Commander Kemp of the Alamegan Resistance, I present to you our formal response. Good. I'm glad we've reached an accord. Though I was not aware you had suffered such losses. Aye. Some of our finest took part in the Griffin's doomed assault, and we've been struggling to find new recruits ever since. The massacres cast a pall over the whole resistance, and many who might once have been open to joining us have since thought better of it. After all of the Griffin's false promises, one can hardly blame them. They have no desire to give their lives for a lost cause. We will not lie to them. This is war, and lives will be lost. Yet what we offer is not the fever dream of a madman, but true hope. The people need proof of this, Father. Let us show it to them. I say we stand shoulder to shoulder with our new allies and engage the Garleans in open warfare. The Resistance must demonstrate that they can hold their own against Imperial regulars. And with our assistance, I am confident they can do just that. If we can achieve even a token victory, I believe it will serve to rekindle the hope of the Alamegan people and inspire them to rise up once more. Aye. Aye. Once word spread that we'd won a battle against the Galleons, I'd wager we'd have new recruits flocking to us from Malms around. The question is, when and where do we strike? I'm glad you asked. I have a plan. Our scouts, uh, our scouts recently informed me uh, of an interesting development at Castrum Velodina, Velodina. <clears throat> namely the arrival of a shipment rumored to have come from the research and development facilities near the capital, containing prototype Magitek armor. It is our assessment that this armor is to be field tested here, most likely against Alliance forces. Mayhap before the day is out. Your concern is not unwarranted. But we needn't despair just yet. The shipment is thought to have contained a single heavy unit and one or two support units. With a well-laid ambush, we are confident we can destroy them all, hindering their development and delaying further deployment. And should we carry out this as a joint endeavor with the Resistance, they will have their rallying cry.
It would mean dropping all pretense about the Alliance not wanting to go to war with the Empire. But you could have a lot more folk willing to stand up and fight if they knew they were weren't if they weren't alone. And you were going to have to do it eventually anyway. Exactly. And so what I propose is simple. We harry their patrols to bait them into bringing their prototype weapons to East End, where our resistance allies will take them from behind. Simple indeed. And well within our capabilities. I see no reason to delay, especially if a field test is imminent. What say you? Assuming the Vice Marshal's intelligence is accurate, I agree with his assessment and fully support his plan. I shall notify my comrades at once. Understood. I shall have one of my men bring you the details of the plan anon. I have no idea what happened. Are you guys waiting for me to say something? Yep. Yeah. I don't... Am I having a different conversation? Did I skip something on X? Did my brain break? I can't even... F I'm like trying to look in the event log to even find what you guys were saying and I have no idea what you were saying. What did I do? I'm in the right... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Effie did I, skip over a line. Um, did I? Yeah, you skipped over one of Minago's lines. Oh, I've just been waiting on there. I'm like, did I accidentally like autopilot oh, I'm, past I'm some sorry. lines? And I was like, waiting for the Minago line to come up again. Yeah. And I've just been sitting there, I guess. I'm like, what the fuck oh, happened? Yeah, no, no, I, magic, I yeah. noticed it after he started, like, he was talking more after, because I, yeah. I memorized the lines. And uh, I once he passed the line that was his, I was like, oh, okay. And then I was about to say, and then he started talking again. I was like, ah. Whatever, her line's like nothing anyways. Yeah, damn it, I, 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 I briefly thought my, I thought my mind was, broke yeah. and I like autopiloted into like accidentally skipping ahead a few times. So I was waiting for you guys to catch up to where I was. And then that line never came up and I was like, hang on a minute, what's happening? <laughs> Are they waiting for Sorry. me? Sorry, <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> I'm Are kind we? of on autopilot too right now because <laughs> it's, it's, it's starting to get late. And we, for our part, will be fighting with the Alliance, yes? I somehow doubt you were intending to sit this one out. <laughs> That's the last line. Hey, it's a jacket. Hey, it's a skirt that looks va <sighs> vaguely insensitive, net uh, like culturally. <laughs> a jacket's a lot too, though. I'll take the fringe jacket. Oh, yeah, I'm actually allowed to wear that one. I got very confused. <laughs> People watching my video will be like, "What is he doing? He's just staring at it." <laughs> Because I'm panicking inside. <laughs> like, wait, did I fuck up? <laughs> Am I allowed to wear the jacket now? I don't know, are you? Where the fuck is it? It's so hard to look, find items in this inventory for some reason. I lose my mind. I genuinely can't find items I just picked up in my own inventory. Like, every single time. <laughs> Freaks me out. <laughs> Whatever. Talky talk. Everybody good? Yep. Are we all talking to Robon? Yep. Oh, Andrew's behind. Okay. We've been careful to avoid needless shows of force this side of the wall. But that's all about to change. And when it does, you may be sure they'll send their new toys out to entertain us. I would ask that you entertain participate us. in this operation. But from the look no, from that look I see it's a foregone conclusion. My thanks. Per Pippin's plan. We need to turn East End into an Imperial Graveyard. You're a dab hand in, at this, and I'd be a fool not to use you. Head to this spot on your map, right here, aye. A patrol should be along shortly. Deal with them, then rendezvous with the rest of us at this location. Go well, hero. And then we leave. I know it names the item, but then I have to find the item. On a no, grid of pictures is the problem. <laughs> Which is not a helpful way of finding a name. Oop, I'm not standing close enough. There we go. Is it just, can 
Can I auto equip it? No, because it's not upgrade. Yeah, it's probably not an upgrade if you have uh, some of the uh, augmented gear for level 60. I just this tried scrolling through like all the items and I couldn't 60, find 60, it. 61, I thought I read them all. I can't find it. Would you f for the Wranglers one instead? I'm oh, this is cowboy mode. Get out of here, tree. No one's talking to you. Twirling cowboy is my new aesthetic. <laughs> It's got a fringe. Is that the right word for that at that point? I don't know. What? I don't think this is even the item I earned. It's a different one that looks the same. Or it's got or it's called something different? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I got the Gangan Gagan Gagana's skin jacket of aiming. Where the fuck is that in my inventory? This is the Wrangler's jacket. Oh, hey, look, guys, it's a solo instance. Oh, sort Bye, everybody. Help. Let me know if a single oh, person can even see that on the grid. All went to plan then. Good. Our scouts report that a unit escorting the prototype weapons has left uh, Castella Vil uh, Vildonia. Or uh, Vilod uh, Vilodia? Uh, Vilodina. 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 Oh, Spadani. Uh, Validine, the resistance Validine, is already in position. <laughs> so we have to but to wait for our guests to arrive. And then we begin. And smack things. Now I'm back to being a baby level. Oh yeah, this mission. Ugh, fuck. Yup. Yup. Okay, this jacket looks kind of awesome. New glamour in progress. for us after Carton, oh, didn't they? Here we are, right as rain, with Fred's new toys to put through their paces. <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once. I was not expecting Raggedy Andy to come back. I know, right? It isn't Garland's little troublemaker. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Xenos's face when I bring him your head. <laughs> I don't fit on the screen. <laughs> that is, if my secret weapons here don't grind it into mush. Attack! Oh wait, I just put on low level gear in an item locked instance. <laughs> <laughs> the fashion. What do you mean my armor chest was full? Wait, what? Wait, how, wait, wait, is there some stupid nonsense to Final Fantasy's inventory? That sounds like a way no inventory should work. That I have to check a different, I have to check a different inventory for my item I just got than the one that my gear is in. Uh, am I not hurting this guy? Uh, it's gonna take a while. Am I that weak? Yeah, it's a very long fight. Don't worry about it. I'm like, it's just one chest piece. I didn't realize how bad I was fucking up.
Oh my god, everything has a billion health here. Yeah, all the oh. enemies have. Just focus on the prototype. Yeah, I was like, maybe I should change target to take out the other ads, and then those people can help me fight the prototype. And then they also took no damage. Basically, the idea here is you don't want the prototype poking, focusing on Alice A. Yeah. Everyone make, else will survive just fine. I am making this this uh, cowboy pro, uh, climber plate immediately after this stream. Ow, they're all hitting Did me. Did you just spend all of the podcast trying to make a damn climber plate? You're not going to even use it? I've been using it this whole stream. Uh -huh, uh huh. It's also just a variation of the of the what I was wearing last stream too. Ow! Fuck! Stop hitting me! <laughs> now I'm taking a lot of damage. Stop it! That's why you got a healer. Don't worry about it. I don't trust the AI to help me in any game. Have you seen them before in games? I gotta I gotta stop standing on the side of the room that everyone spawns on. They'll target me first. Pressing the wrong buttons, damn it. My brain is forgetting to switch between single target and multi target. Oh, it's over. He who fights and runs. What the. What the hell's in you lot? Yes, do you want me to read <laughs> yeah. real fast so you can read this, Andrew? Uh, sure, why not? Go ahead and stream it to me and I'll read it. Okay. Did our uh, games glitch out or did Andrew's brain glitch out? I don't Because neither I of know. us have voice acting. I... There. <laughs> maybe I just missed a... Somehow I might have missed a cutscene. Maybe just reflexively okay. skipped the entire cutscene. Oh, amigo, let's uh, let let's none escape. <laughs> and... Oh, that's the whole cutscene. Oh, hey, that's oh, it. we're fighting oh, okay. again. Yeah, I've already done that. Okay, oh. yeah, I just. All right, now there's the confusion. That's now we we are we're, we're, we're all waiting okay. for you. All right, that makes a lot of sense. I'm sorry. We have, we have I... no reason to think that was as minimal as it was. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm waiting I'm waiting for you because afterwards. Oh, his health's going way faster it. this time because everyone's fighting him. Yeah. Womp womp. Yeah, that's why I said it was at like half health. <laughs> well, this answers several questions. Okay, not that many questions, because that was like 10 seconds. Oh! Damn it all! Miracles of Magitech design my ass! I've passed harder stools than these piles of scrap! You'll pay for this! Mark my words, the next time we meet will be the last! Hi, run and tell you, Viceroy! The day belongs to El Amigo!
Well done, all of you. I'd call this operation a resounding success. Can't say I'm surprised the Bull of Alamigo had an impressive military record before he went west, as I recall. Credit where credit's due, Master Kemp. Does Marshal Tarapin, who made this plan, and all of you, resistance and alliance alike, who carried it out to perfection? Aye, uh, that they did. Not a single casualty, for which I'm grateful beyond words. I've no doubt our comrades back at the Reach will feel the same. As will ours. It's been a pleasure, General. Until the next battle, Mono, uh, Monago, I leave the Scions in your care. We shall return to the Castrum then. Hero, Mistress Levelua, once more you have my thanks. As Master Kemp said, until the next battle. That was weird how the cutscene, the the fight opened with a voice cutscene, then it was interrupted briefly by a non-voice cutscene, then ended with a voice cutscene. Just to keep us on our toes. We did it. I'd heard the stories, but to actually see you in action, I almost found myself pitying the Imperials. Seriously though, it was inspirational. Ah, but you must be tired of hearing that, huh? I'll keep it simple then. Thanks for the help out there. Give me my material and shut up. <laughs> Samurai sword? Is it good? Eh. I find your sword wanting. <laughs> are we continuing or are we stopping? Well, we might as well return back to Ralgar's Reach. Okay. Which is what this quest is. Or is it? Well, there's no reason to remain here any longer. Let's go back to the Reach. Oh man, have you not seen what happened in that place? The Covenant mm -hmm. took it over. Teleportation. Badoop. Wait, where are we going? Places. <laughs> Emotionally. <laughs> yeah, the other teleport is closer. Yeah, that's Mwah. fine. Scenic route. But I've seen Nick before. <laughs> but... Alright, nope, you're on your own. <laughs> you can't defeat me! No, but I can beat you there. I have my own slave transport. You choke bow. <laughs> yeah. Everybody here? Yep. Yep. Okay. You don't have to take part in the operation, but you did. You went above and beyond what was asked of you, without hesitation. And for what that for and for that we owe you a debt. Our victory may not count for much in practical terms, but its symbolic value can't be overstated. Alliance resistance fighters came together to face an Imperial unit equipped with uh, Garlemen's newest weapons and smash them. The people will remember this day. Aye, uh, th that they will, for it marks the beginning of something uh, far greater than any single victory. The beginning of a campaign by a united Eorzea to drive the Garleans from our lands. Promises and platitudes meant not without action, but the Alliance took the field and risked their lives for our cause. Huh, to think the last time Garlean troops uh, trod this soil was more than a century ago, during the Autumn War, and that was to defend against our, our evasion. Ours is a long and bloody history, to be sure, and it gives me heart to see that despite... Our, uh, our... Acrimonious. Acrimonious? What the fuck does that mean? I guessed. Trouble? <laughs> it sounds like a familiar word. All right. 
Despite our acrimonious past, we still come together for the sake of the future. Well said, Commander. Which is why I intend to go to go to uh, go from village to village and spread word of our victory and our new alliance. The people will flock to our banners. Just you wait and see. Hero, Alice, I cannot thank you enough for your assistance. Give me my materia and be gone, woman. <laughs> I can't use any of these items. Thumbs up. All right. Time for this schmuckle chuck. Next time. Next time. On Dragon Butt Wait. Next time. On Burp for the Burp. This jacket requires chaps and boots. <laughs> yeah, it does. <clears throat> Do you have right. any of those? I think, like, I... the first pants that Panda gave me were chaps. I think so? Nice. I'm teleporting to the house and then logging in because holy crap, I'm tired. That was like the, the first like cosmetic set that I could get because I think everything that they give us has to be like level accessible. That's a look. I need to make the chaps the right color though. <laughs> this outfit, my god. Yeah, the eye patch also kind of makes sense, but just whenever the camera gets close, the eye patch is very obviously like a cone stabbed into my eye socket. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you've seen an eye patch up close, but like you can see that it's like it's just stabbing into my eye socket from a great distance away from it. That's their way of making oh, up for how no. it's it's like how the mask floats off your face. This one tries to make up for it by not letting there be a space, but it's, it does that by stabbing your character in the face. So if you look at it from any yes. direction then forward, it get it looks really weird. It does okay. not look I, ideal. No. I just dozed off again. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Okay, you guys later. Yep, go to bed. There you go. Yeah, that eye patch looks better when it's dark because it contrasts with his collar.